Hi, so if you're in a relationship and you're worried about the other party cheating, what are the ways to investigate that or determine that? This is Dave at AFX Search. You've probably seen many lists of how to determine if somebody's cheating, you know, if they buy new clothes or buy new cologne or perfume. That's all well and good. But here's a hidden indicator of cheating that most people are not aware of. First of all, a cheater when they're going to be undertaking this activity, it's going to make sure that they're not going to get caught. How do they do that? They're going to make sure you're not going to be around to catch them. So they're going to be very keen on what your activity is or your location during that time. So be aware of when the other party in that relationship is checking your activity, especially if they're not really jealous about it. Sometimes a cheater will be happy that you're going out with your girlfriends or even with coworkers to make sure you're not around. We discovered this a long time ago in the investigative world when we were hired by a party to do surveillance on a, a spouse or a domestic partner. And our client never really had any reason to suspect cheating. So we have, let's say, a husband that calls us up and says, I want you to do surveillance on my wife to make sure she's not cheating. Okay, so we follow the wife and check everything out. Not cheating, nothing's wrong. We call up the husband, he's fine. No you know, none of the normal response to it. So what we did was we did a little investigation and we found that about 30% of surveillance requests in a relationship scenario are what we call circle back, meaning that the party that's hiring us is actually not hiring to determine cheating. They're hiring us to make sure that their spouse or other party is not circling back to f catch them cheating. Uh, so this is an example of where the party is so insistent on making sure they're not going to get caught. They want to keep tabs on their spouse to make sure they're not going to be discovered. So here's how you check that out. Give a suspicious answer to where you're going to be. If somebody says, hey, where are you going to be on a Thursday morning? Give them a suspicious answer. Well, I'm going to be with some people from work. Leave it something that might trigger them normally. See if they get jealous. If the other party doesn't get jealous about that, that might be an indication that they don't really care who you're with. They just care that you're gone somewhere, especially if they say, well, what time are you going to be back? Or um, are you sure you're going to go? Those are the kind of things that are indicators. Then watch their activities right after the time that they asked you about. If they asked you where you're going to be from 9 to 12 on Thursday morning, at 12.15, check them out. See where they're at. See if they're back home. See if they're at work. And maybe stop by work afterwards. Don't try to do surveillance during the time period that they're telling you about because they're going to be really suspicious of that. Check them out right afterwards. And if you want to check out, you know, if their hair's messed up, if they smell like perfume, or if their car's parked in a different area, that's the time to do it. Don't try to do surveillance when you think they're going to be cheating. Check them out right afterwards and um, see if they double check your location. So if they ask you where you're going to be from 9 to 12 on Thursday, and you tell them you're going to be out with some friends. See if they double check again right before that time to say, hey, you're still going out with your friends. That might be another indicator. Circle back is a cheater's worst nightmare. You're going to circle back and find them. Don't circle back and find them. Find it out surreptitiously so you know the answer before they know that you know, and then you'll have more control over what happens. If you try to catch them and you are discovered in trying to catch them cheating, then they're going to be even more uh, careful the next time. Don't let them know you're onto them. Um, hire an investigator if you're going to check their actual activities, but you can do some of your own work on checking them out after you think that they were doing something that's inappropriate. If you have more questions, you can reach us at our website, afxsearch.com.